<laughs> hey, everybody. Kirby Susie, welcome. We're going to do the uh, Revolution 1718 A box, inner case number 15. eBay style, come this way. I am almost certain that this, this, this is 1718. I got to tell you, the one thing that is kind of a, you know, pissed me off a little bit this says 2017 Panini Basketball Revolution. Both 16 and 17 both say 17 Panini Basketball Revolution. This one, I think, is 17-18. Pretty sure. Yeah, Brave Wars, I'd get no work done if that was the, if that was the case. And it is 17-18. How about that? I actually got it right for once. Although I was never particularly skilled at the uh, arcade games. I wasted a butt ton of money on them, but I was never good at them. I remember, uh, I don't know, do you guys ever remember a, a, a arcade game called Bad Dudes? I think it was called Bad Dudes. Where you, like, you were like trying to save the president or something. Like that one, like a friend, a friend of mine and I like used to play at this arcade. And I, I can remember like frantically running to... Uh, like the change machine, like trying to get to quarters to, you know, re, you know, get my life back on before he died, so we could continue the, uh, continue the fight. And then the only other, other, only other one I ever like really played with any decentness was Street Fighter, and I wasn't even good at Street Fighter. Like I could, all I could do was spam uh, Chun Li's spin move, spin kick. It was it. That's all I could. Yes, Bad Dudes was a Double Dragon knockoff. Now, the Double Dragon, we used, to, like, my friend and I used to play on his, uh, on his Tandy computer. It was like, I mean, it was basically like a, a slightly more powerful Commodore 64. I mean, but just like, you know, weak AF. And even that, like, we got cheap at that we found, like, we could do two players. And basically just like stand back to back, like in the middle of the uh, arena, and just throw elbows, just throw elbows, just let, like let just like let let them walk into it. We knew it was cheap, but we would do it for hours and hours and hours. Because I ne I never had like an NES like that. I never had I had an Atari. But then I, I never, uh, never got the NES. Went straight to the uh, N64 after the uh, after the Atari. But yeah, well, I mean, once I once I win the lottery or come rich off breaking, I will have a uh, like a, a man cave that will have like some console or you know like you know some arcade game in it. I don't know what yet. The wife is actually pretty solid at uh, Galaga. I still there's a there was another game that's uh, like cause, like I mean you know. Okay, let me show. Let me just show you how how to find. All right. That might be easier. Will you go to eBay? Yeah, go to eBay.
the 80s. Yeah, I don't know. It just, and it just keeps on going on, so I don't have to touch anything. It's great. Also, does it change the buyer's username? I should have realized what they yeah they they don't have cars at all. All right. All right. That's fun. Well, yeah, Chris fits like on the uh, on the uh, Atari. I was like unbeatable at Pac-Man. Like it, it didn't like lose. Also, asteroid. If you allowed me to change the, uh, like the special move, which like if you pull down on the control stick, you would either like you could either like it would like on a on basic setting would teleport you somewhere different. You could set it where you would flip, like just do a hundred eighty degree turn. Unstoppable in that. But the Pac-Man like didn't get like harder and harder and harder on the Atari, so I mean I it was I just would play until I got bored. And then like well no, I did have an Apple IIe. So I guess there was something in between those things. All right, Lewis. I'm gonna hate myself for doing it, but I will. I will fill that Don Russ. Thought that I didn't. That I would would not have to sort another one. But I will do it for you. On the Apple IIe, there was. A, this is a, like one of my glory type stories. There was a game. I cannot. I do not remember the name of it. I could probably find it if I looked hard enough. But it was basically like a mythology-based game. There was like... Turn, eh, I don't know if turn-based is the right word. I mean, it was basically turn, like kind of turn-based. You would start off with like a hero. Like Achilles, let's say. And Achilles could move, you know, seven spots in a turn. Or like six spots and and still have a turn to attack. And like there was like some whole quest thing that you had to uh, finish up. I played it so much, so much that the box had like a uh, like a thing on it, like oh you know if you can beat the developer's score. Take a picture of it and like, and we'll you know, you know, send, send you a T-shirt and, and a certificate kind of thing. I played so much that I, that I beat the developer score. The grind games are what uh, what got me. Well, no, Chris Fitz. I still I have the most clear, vivid memories of Super Mario N sixty four. 
Like my friend got the 64 for Christmas one year. And I remember going to his house and just like the first time seeing it, just, I mean, changed my life. Like there's like a handful of moments to me that just changed like completely the way I saw things and like even understood them. One of them was seeing Super Mario 64 for the first time and like it being like three dimensional blew my mind like absolutely blew my mind. I still I still have mine too. Listening to uh uh, Nirvana's Nevermind the first time blew my mind. Those actually might be the only two times. Mm. All right, let's see what I remember about uh, about Revolution. All right, a freed Astros are unnumbered in this, right? Fractals are unnumbered. A Zach Randolph Groove, that's unnumbered. How's it going? Uh, go Bear Astro. Frank Rookie Revolution Impact. Tobias Harris Fractal. A Dwayne Bacon Groove. A Tony Parker Astro. A Zizek Impact. There grows Sunburst to uh, 75. You can take the mouse off the off the uh, laptop if you're desperate for one. Giannis Astro. Marco Fultz Astro. That is Young Astro. Dear Value Collector Shaquille O'Neal. Big Greg, I do. I'd have to look. I would have to look. I mean, you know, it's weird. Like those, uh, like th those things are just, just, just. Ch I mean, change your world. Uh, Brogdon uh, Groove. John Wall Astro, a uh, Aaron Gordon die cut. Paul Millsap to 75. Fractal Al Horford. Another O'Neill. Bogdanovich. Groove. It's really kind of pointless for most of these. A Frank for the Knicks autograph on card. On card. Michael Shaw, how are you doing today? For a hundred percent sure, Dijul. 
I'm gonna have to. I mean, I, for that, I gotta check the checklist just for myself. So yeah, Impact Ariza. Groove Howard. Ben Simmons to a Hundy Cosmic. Got the uh, Groove Hassan Whiteside. Hey, Robin Lopez to 50 for doubles. Robin Lopez uh, Astro. Lift off Kevin Durant die cut. All right, I, I will. Uh, tr I will trust you on that. O'Neal going to the Magic then, writing it down. Jason Tatum Fractal. Dotson uh, Astro. Andre Jordan Groove. Will the Thrill. Will the Thrill is. Is it a Will Clark reference? Basmore Astro. Lonzo Ball Astro. Gary Harris. The Dragon Astro. My favorite uh, favorite baseball player. The only uh, baseball jersey that I own is a uh, Will Clark jersey. Uh, Basmore. Gal oh, no, Basmore's Galactic. Charlie Towns lift off. When are they going to get him into the Hall of Fame? Baysmore. Showstoppers Lonzo Ball Impact Style. A Bam Rookie. Mm. Horford Fractal. A uh, Westbrook Impact. Frank Mason Astral. Lobster Groove. Thank you, Eric. Donovan Mitchell, Astro rookie. Rose Astro. Vivacek Astro.
An Allen Iverson to 50. Josh Hart, Astral. Gordon Hayward to Hyundai. There's another guy on here that is a, a, a huge Will Clark fan, too. I don't think he is on right this second, but so that is we bonded over our love of the Will Clark. A uh, Kobe uh, impact. Patrick Ewing, fancy Chinese impact style. Bradley Beal. A Ben Wallace autograph for the Pistons. Will the thrill? I I mean, I think I feel like he does. I mean, I mean, I guess I mean I I know that I have like some bias, but I mean, I feel like you gotta. I mean, look at a at a body of work, you know, and, and how you how you can say that as long as he did as well as he did in, against the teams that he did too. That that he that he's that he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, because some of those National League teams of his of his era were just devastating. Michael Shaw, I don't know exactly. I mean, I know there's uh, Star Wars archives. Fultz rookie astral TJ Leaf Cosmic to a Hundy and a, a Gasol Astral, a Carl uh, Anthony Towns die cut and that one. So we got a Ben Wallace. We got a Shaquille O'Neal for the Magic. Frank, uh, rookie for the Knicks. And we did have uh, the Galactic pop out for uh, Baysmore. So thank you, everybody. We'll get this right out to you.